When we have two sets of data which we think are correlated, then we can work out the correlation coefficient. Let's look at these two sets of data and first of all we look at the scatter diagram between them to see if it looks like they're correlated. We go to insert, we go to scatter, top left gives us that, which looks like quite good correlation. Let's move the gra graph down a bit. And let's see how we can actually numerically work out a measure of how well correlated they are. To do this we need three more columns of data. We need x times y, we need x squared and we need y squared. So to find x times y it's a formula so we have equals the x value multiplied by the y value. In this case 1 times 4 equals 4 and we can click and drag that go to the bottom right left click hold down and drag and that will do the product for all five entries. Now we want x squared so that equals the x entry a2 squared which in our case is just one squared and we can click and drag that to get all of them and y squared similarly equals the first y value squared which should be 16 and indeed is and then we click and drag that. Now what we need from this are the totals of each column we just move this down a little bit further. The way we get a total is by going to the first number in that column, dragging down and perhaps leaving a couple of rows at the bottom. We then go to Home and Sigma. That will add up a column and it will give us 19 in this case. We do that for each of these. Home and sigma we give the total home and sigma for the total of xy home sigma for the total of x squared and lastly home and sigma for the total of y squared we then have a rather complicated formula to find the correlation coefficient and it works as follows let's um tuck it in here equals now it's a quotient of one expression divided by another so let's put the top one in a bracket it's the average of all the xy's so we have the total of the xy's in our case there are five data points so we need to divide by five then we have to take away the average of x which is the total of x divided by five times the average of y. So that's the total of y's divided by 5. That's the top of our fraction and we divide then by the square root of a product and the first item in the product is actually the variance of x. So that's the average of x squared. We take the total of all the x squares and divide by 5 minus the average of x squared. So brackets the total of x divided by 5 squared and that gives us in fact the variance of x and we now have to do the variance of y. So we want the total of y squared divided by 5 take away the mean of y squared. So I need a bracket first bracket the total of y divided by 5 and I need to square that. That gives me the variance of y. Another bracket to enclose the whole lot in the square root and I enter that and I get 0.864 etc. That's a measure of how well correlated those two data sets are. It's very near plus 1 so it shows there's good positive correlation. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? OK, 
okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.